The NBC News investigative unit has uncovered exclusive new details about the meeting from the Russian lawyer at the center of the controversy. Joining me now is Ken Delaney, an NBC News intelligence and national security reporter. Ken, thanks very much. You have met, you've interviewed with this Russian lawyer, the woman who was attending that meeting. And what are the main headlines? The fact that no one has contacted her from Robert Mueller or the FBI? That's right, Andrea. Natalia Veselinskaya tells us through a translator uh, from Moscow that she has not been contacted by Mueller or by any U.S. official. And that's particularly curious because her partner at the meeting, the Russian-American lobbyist Renat Akhmetchin, has testified before Mueller's D.C. grand jury, you know, NBC News has reported. Um, and as you said, this Trump Tower meeting back in June 2016 has emerged as a key focus of the investigation. And we can be sure that Donald Jr. will be asked in detail about it at this Senate Judiciary committee meeting tomorrow. And the reason it's a key focus, obviously, as everyone knows by now, is because Don Jr. took the meeting after an explicit promise of help from the Russian government. Now, Natalia Veselinskaya tells us that she was not bringing any specific incriminating information about Hillary Clinton from the Russian government. She was there to talk about a set of sanctions known as the Magnitsky Act. She did mention some donations to Hillary Clinton. But as she tells it, it's kind of a nothing burger. Now, a couple of things about that. She is a Russian lawyer with ties to the Kremlin, so it's, I think it's fair to take what she's saying with a grain of salt. But intelligence experts also say that even if her story is true, it doesn't mean that this wasn't an attempt by the Russian government to see how the Trump campaign would respond to this overture, Andrea. And let's just play a short clip from that interview, which you did through a translator. Yeah, he could, uh... Once again, I have never handed to Mr. Trump any briefs, not during the meeting, not afterwards. So that's going to be very interesting. What the he, Don Jr., has to say about that tomorrow. But we should also point out that Susan Rice has been testifying today. She's on the Hill at House Intelligence. And the House Intelligence Committee has gone off on a tangent that Adam Schiff and Democrats are not happy about. Uh, they have subpoenaed records from the FBI, Ken. That is extraordinary as well. It is, and Schiff is complaining that, you know, they didn't even ask first. They just went right for the subpoena, and this appears to be an attempt by Republicans in the House Intelligence Committee to seek to discredit that the FBI's work with the British intelligence officer who completed that dossier that in many ways got this whole investigation started, Andrea. Ken Delaney, and thank you for breaking all of that down for us for your exclusive reporting today. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.